Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed October 19, 2016, at 10 12 p.m. And of course, my thoughts on the debate. And um, boy, uh, and if everybody didn't notice it, I, I wrote down everything that I knew that most people know or open lies from Hillary Clinton. And um, I even wrote down one for Trump. But starting out on the amendments, and um, Trump made it clear He's pro-life, and he will go after reversing Roe versus Wade, and the Supreme Court will support the whole Constitution, not just parts of it, but all of it. And Hillary, she said, doesn't matter if the baby's squirming when you pull it out, if that's what they want then abort it, and she wouldn't change a thing. And she also made a stab, kinda, at the Supreme Court that those that she put in would be in alignment with her thinking, if you caught that, because she accused babies she said toddlers, what, six times, toddlers, killing themselves or injuring people or even killing people because they got their hands on the gun. Toddlers, crazy. Babies getting a hold of guns. Well, that's not the gun's fault. It's not the owner's fault. I mean, uh, a toddler, did she really mean that? But he's strictly pro-life, and I, I agree with him. I think that should be reversed. And, um, and anyway, that one got me kind of rubbed the wrong way right off the bat. Um... Clinton clearly, when talked about the borders, and she didn't mention anything about drugs. She just simply said that if you want to be an American, you have to be a socialist. She did not mention one thing about a person starting their own business. It's just that there will be more people to hire when things are going her way. That's a socialist view, not a capitalist view. And Trump said right opposite. He said, when capitalists, when people start starting their businesses, they have far more people to hire. Well, in Hillary's hire package, that included closing down coal mines but then giving them jobs to make up for. Well, the jobs that she will give them are government jobs. So there's another strike against her. And again, the borders, they went back to that about amnesty and no amnesty. And Trump said, no, no, you got to you gotta vet them. They got to come in legally and they got to get in line to do it. And she said, Give them all amnesty right away. Let them in regardless. And she also said when Trump mentioned they come in and murder and kill, she had the the guts to say, and more or less, well, it wasn't their fault. Talking about the Hispanics, the, the uh, killing those people that they've killed. So there's another lie for Hillary, and uh, Mexico, the only disagreement he had with Trump was the fence, them paying for the fence. Now, let me mention one thing. 
If you count the money, just the money that the Border Patrol have taken from those coming back to America to buy more drugs. See, they don't check the cars going into Mexico because the money had to get in there, okay? But it's those coming in to America. Look, they get a lot of money. Some days they'll get hundreds of thousands of dollars. I saw days where they've had over $2 million in a single day. Just stuff in every place they can stuff them inside of a car. And, um, but still, Clinton ignored that. She wanted to disregard any of that. And she said, speed the, po the, the process up. And Trump said, no, you got to take your time on that. So he, he won to me, not hands down like I thought. He won by field goals, not big touchdowns. And um, the tax breaks on the wealthy. Well, you know what? I always tell this story. When Jimmy Carter was president, he... He made his 200000 being president. His peanut farm, however, earned him $20 million. Let me tell you how much tax he paid, and I'll always remember this, because I had gone into business first for myself in 1977. And going back and looking at Jimmy Carter's federal tax that he had paid on the twenty million plus the two hundred thousand per year for four years, and my first year as a business owner, I paid more federal tax than Jimmy Carter did. And I assure you, I came nowhere near making two hundred thousand dollars. I made more like sixty or seventy thousand, but yet I paid more federal tax than Jimmy Carter. And for her to say that has not been going on is a lie. So that's another lie I caught her in. And um, talking about NAFTA, the reason. These Ford and other dealerships or automakers are in Mexico and other places because of NAFTA. And then when she jumped all over Bill Clinton about, I'm sorry, Bill Clinton, Obama about buying his steel, he said, well, you're right, but it, it makes it difficult to buy here when you're the ones and Bill Clinton has shipped it all to China so that they could make it. And I agree with him. It's Bill's reason for China being the steel maker because Bill shipped those manufacturing jobs there in Birmingham alone while Bill Clinton was president and immediately when NAFTA signed, two steel mills in Birmingham closed within the first six months and then the rest of them closed within the first year. We have no steel mills in Birmingham. We have steel makers where they do some prefabbing and forming and making of beans and things of existing steel, but we're not pouring steel. We're not making it anymore because we have a whole mountain out here that they have to use pig iron in it to make the steel. We have a mountain with millions of tons of pig iron in it just sitting there that cannot be used because we have no steel mills to use it in. 
And pig iron, I grew up knowing about pig iron because where my grandmother lived, she would take us for the most of the summer. Well, I mean, pig iron's laying everywhere. Just look like ingot bars of gold, except they're just pig iron. Pig iron is, is a cross between uh, two to three different kinds of metal. And um, some of it, well, anyway, I won't get into that. Um, but overall, I, I was pleased. I, I wasn't jumping up. But the one thing that did bother me the most was, most of all, was when they asked Clint, I mean, uh, uh, Trump, if he would accept tonight as a win or a defeat whatever was chose, he said, I'll keep you in suspense. I'll let you know. Let's go back and look at one thing. Because really, I kept notes on all of it. John F. Kennedy, when he had a debate, he said the very same thing. And the reason he said the very same thing is because part of his party split and went to the other party. And they did the same thing to him as what the Democrats did when the Republicans joined them to fight Donald Trump, it happened to Jimmy, I mean, to uh, John F. Kennedy the same way. And he would not agree to it because he knew that there were still attacks coming. Donald Trump knows there are still attacks coming. And Kennedy said, no, I will not. He said, I will tell you when the election is over. In fact, you can tell yourself when the election is over. So when Juan Williams steps up, who is an ex-CNN guy, and Brett Hume, which is an ex-CNN guy, and someone else ex-CNN, and then Megan Kelly uh, for Fox, but she should be CNN, kind of uh, pointed fingers at him and said, well, he won the debate. They said that. And all of them said it. But he lost it by not agreeing to accept win or defeat by, by the, the majority. And I would not have either. Again, there are still things happening. And what made him say that was just everything that he found out yesterday and day before, because he did remind them. He said, you look at 24 hours ago, just what we found out. And he tried to tell Chris, would you, based on what you just found out a day ago? So I agree with Donald Trump right there. I believe he won. I believe he's going to win. I believe he's going to be the president. I just have to lean his way. I just don't believe that he won by huge touchdowns. I, I believe he won it by field goals, and he had a lot of field goals. Jody Wolf Exposed.